Video number 13. Analytics. Why every creator needs this data. The most powerful people on the planet are not the politicians having access to the most advanced armies or business tycoons having access to unlimited funds or the religious leaders with hordes of worshippers, but the coders who control the algorithms of the most used social media platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. How to view YouTube Shorts Analytics On YouTube, there are three ways to view Shorts Analytics. Two of those methods are for desktop viewing and one is for viewing on mobile. To see analytics on either device, here's what you need to do. Method 1. Viewing individual video stats on desktop. While on desktop, go to the YouTube Studio. In the left navigation menu, click Videos. Hover your mouse over any video and some menu options will appear. You'll want to click the Analytics button, which looks like a tiny bar graph. On the right side of the page, you'll find real-time stats for views coming from YouTube Shorts. Method 2. Viewing Channel Stats on Desktop While on desktop, go to the YouTube Studio. In the left navigation menu, click Analytics. Next, you'll see a section showing views, watch time, subscriber count, and estimated revenue for your channel. Scroll directly below this section and click See More. Go to the Filter tabs at the top of the page and click Traffic Source. This action divides the views on your channel by all the different ways people can watch your content, which now includes YouTube Shorts. Method 3. Viewing Stats on Mobile Open the YouTube Studio app and click Analytics in the top left menu. Click the Discovery tab at the top of the page and you'll see a list of traffic sources for your views, including those from YouTube Shorts. Keep experimenting with your content. The content should be up to the mark. Use text or other tools to make it more creative. Make it enjoyable. It must not be a complex one. Share great stories. Don't think too much about how YouTube Shorts algorithm works. Just keep sharing your best stories with your audience or viewers. Have patience and you will experience a different level of traffic on your channel. Instagram Analytics over 1 billion people around the world use Instagram and spend an average of 28 minutes each day on the app. That's a lot of people and plenty of time for brands to reach them. But without Instagram analytics, your marketing efforts might be getting lost in all the noise. Calculating Level 2 Performance Metrics with Instagram Analytics Metrics without context won't help you take action. If you're comparing your follower count to a celebrity influencer's, your account will likely seem unimpressive, and that comparison won't help you improve your own content. Calculating Level 2 Performance Metrics is all about using your own data as the benchmark so you can pinpoint what your audience loves and what they scroll right by. 1. Growth Other Instagram metrics to track for growth. Impressions, reach, engagement, clicks, replies. Growth metrics show you the change, increase, or decrease of a metric. For example, follower growth shows how your follower count changes over time. Metric at time 1 minus metric at time 2 divided by metric at time 2 times 100 equals growth percent. For example, if you ended October time 1 with 950 followers and had 710 followers in September time 2, your follower growth rate would be 33.8%. 2. Rate. Rate metrics give you a percentage figure to help you understand a particular metric relative to another metric. For example, interaction rate is the percentage of your followers that have interacted with your post, story, or IGTV. For posts and IGTV, Instagram analytics groups likes, comments, saves, and shares under interactions. For Instagram stories, replies and shares are considered interactions. Metric. Example, number of interactions on a post divided by follower account when the post was published times 100 equals rate percent. If you have 950 followers and a post received 175 interactions, that post interaction rate is 18.4%. For Instagram stories, completion rate is a useful metric if you want to see what percentage of people watched the entire story. So if 93 people viewed the first post and 59 made it to the end, your story's completion rate would be 63%. Number of impressions on final post divided by number of impressions on first post times 100 equals Instagram story completion rate percent. 3. Average. 
average metrics give you a benchmark for the general performance of your Instagram posts. For example, the metric average likes per post tells you generally the number of likes each of your posts received. Sum of metric for a period. Example, total likes on posts in January divided by number of posts in that time period equals average. If you shared 12 posts in January and received a total of 715 likes, your average likes per post would be 59. The common denominator to use is the number of posts, i.e. per post, but you can also use a time period, i.e. per day or per month. For instance, you could calculate the average number of viewers for your Instagram Live videos on different days of the week to determine which day might be best to live stream on Instagram. User Activity Interaction History Information on the Reel Information about the Creator Instagram ignores Reels due to low quality TikTok Analytics The first three seconds of the video make or break it. Quick-witted short-form content works like a charm on the platform. More the watch time, more the video recommended to the users. Top format on the platform, education and comedy. Three-second rule, focus on a niche. Jump on trending audio, experiment with new features, create accessible content. Conclusion Whether you use paid or free analytics tools, there are so many ways to dig into metrics and make more data-driven decisions. We would like to see impressions and click-through rates. That would help us determine which short video contained the blueprint for getting more views at the very least. We just hope future metrics help creators do what they desire most, which is getting more views, subscribers, watch time, and revenue. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video lesson.